everyone and welcome to a new series called Improving Your Chess where I take random games between a certain rating category and explain their mistakes so that you don't do them in your game. So today's rating category is between rating 500 to rating 600. The rating is also called ELO. These are 10 minute rapid games so the players have enough time to think. So here white opens with E4. Black responds with the Scandinavian defense and here white plays f3 which is not a good move because your king's diagonal becomes weak and here you have an option to take the pawn and after queen takes you gain activity after knight c3 let's say if a queen moves to a5 or d8 then you play d4 and you gain a lot of space and you develop your pieces well but f3 is like a defensive move and it doesn't activate your pieces Black takes the pawn, f into e4 and now black plays e5. So now both the pawns have come in the center and it looks like the position is opened up. So white is doing fine here. Your white plays knight f3 which is a good move because you are stopping queen h4 which will give a check and take your pawn. So knight f3 is very important when your king's diagonal is weak. Black plays knight to c6, he defends the pawn. Knight c3, both players are developing their pieces which is good. Bishop to b4, knight d5, maybe white didn't want double pawns. So he plays knight d5, takes his knight in the center, attacks the bishop and now this black knight has not come on f6 so white takes advantage of it. Bishop d6, a slightly passive move, bishop c5 would have been better taking control of this diagonal, here white cannot castle. Bishop d6 by black, d3. Here you are activating the diagonal for this bishop, but you have also closed the diagonal for this bishop. White could have played bishop to c4 first, activated this bishop, and then played d3 and developed his bishop. But white plays d3, bishop to g4. Now look at black's threat here. He can take the knight, and let's say if you take with the queen, then they can be queen h4. Here you have g3, so you are doing fine, but you have to be careful of this threat. But here white plays h3, which weakens this diagonal more. After bishop into f3, queen into f3 and queen h4, you can still play g3 but your position will be weak. But here after takes, white takes with the g pawn. Now it allows queen h4 and you lose castling, there's no one to stop the threat. But black plays knight to d4 first. Here maybe he thought of getting one more piece in the game and then playing queen h4. But here white has chances to stop the threat by playing h4. Now the rook defends the pawn and black cannot play queen h4. But here white doesn't see the threat and plays c3 and now black comes in with his queen. Queen to h4, white has only one square to move to d2. And here white is having problem with castling but still is fine. Black takes the knight back which is a good move. White was attacking a piece. You have destroyed white's castling, so now you can take your pieces back. d4 by white, which is not good. Your king is in center and you're opening your position more, which gives black attacking chances. If this position was slowed, white's king is safe here. Even though his pieces are not active, his king is safe and he can survive the game. After d4, black takes the pawn. White takes c into d4. And black takes knight into d4, which gives white counterplay after queen to a4. There's a double attack, you can defend it, but there's bishop to b5, and white pieces have become active in the game. But here white doesn't see, he plays rook to g1, g6. Here white plays rook to g4, he removes the opponent's pieces from his territory, which is a good sign for white's king. After queen to d8, he takes his king back to e1, and now white is doing well here. Bishop to b4 check, which is a blunder by black. You have to check if you are doing blunders. Here there is just a free bishop and white just wins a piece. But here white plays bishop to d2. He doesn't see it and black does another mistake by playing c6. Here white has given you a chance. You can even exchange with the bishop. It is fine. But c6 is like you are telling your opponent capture my bishop. It's free. Take it. And you just give your bishop free. White will obviously take it because he has to defend his knight and there is a free bishop. Queen d6, bishop to c3 now pins this knight. This rook is 
in the diagonal black place e5 knight to d5 black plays rook to d8 f4 and here black just moves his knight and gives another free piece f6 bishop into b5 gives a free knight also and now white is winning only if white does a huge blunder black can win but he's not going to do that king to f7 and here white plays bishop to c4 which is threatening a discovered attack black can move his king out of the diagonal but plays queen to b6 instead giving a free queen so white can take it maybe he thought after knight into b6 there is rook into d1 but still even if this king was not in check you lose your rook so you should not use this silly tricks but here there is a check also so a bonus point for white and he saves his queen also and queen into d8 here is just checkmate so in this game we saw from the white side that he was careless about this diagonal and the king had to move and could not castle and black had good chances but from black side black gave a lot of free pieces and that's how white ended up winning the game so i hope you enjoyed today's video this is the edit was test thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video